Hello and welcome to this Mykonos vlog. I'm going to be taking you around the island with my husband Ali and as you can see it's pretty windy so I will be coming back to this fact a few times because it's a pretty defining feature of the island. But the first thing I want to talk about is the food. So we had some amazing sushi at this place, Hachiko. There's another sushi place called Tokyo Joe. Unfortunately, there aren't any sushi places in the town center. And I'm actually vegetarian, so my sushi had fried aubergine in, really delicious. But if you do eat fish, as you can see, it's an island surrounded by sea. So there are tons and tons of places that do sell a lot of fish. Within the town, there are loads of great little ice cream shops waffle shops, street food, things like that. And there are plenty of vegan places. If you are vegan vegetarian, there are lots of specialist restaurants and cafes that you can go to. For example, we went to a great one called uh, Mother Earth, which I will show you at the end of the video. And we also went to a place called Rhino Vegan Street Food, which had burgers and it was more kind of like vegan junk food. This place, Liberty, was just next to our hotel where we were staying and they did the most incredible French toast. Like, it was unbelievable. And there are some incredible patisseries around the islands. They do some great breads and desserts and things like that. So let's go back to the wind because I can't overstate this enough. It's incredibly windy and it's strong, strong winds. So you will see some of the footage in this video being a bit shaky and that's just because I'm trying to fight against the power of the wind. It's very strong, so if you have long hair, you're gonna wanna tie it up. So as for getting around the island, we did a lot of walking. We didn't actually hire an ATV here, a quad bike. We did do that on Santorini Island, but a lot of people do hire quad bikes here. You can also hire a moped or you can walk, but if you are gonna walk, just be warned, there's usually not pavement so you'll often be walking on the main road with no sidewalk as we did to this beach and it was about half an hour it is an incredible beach though i definitely recommend this one this one's called ornos This beach was actually really sheltered. On the opposite side, there was a little piece of land and then it was a very windy cove where there are a lot of windsurfers. But this beach, Ornos Beach, was actually sheltered from the wind. It would not have been a pleasant experience. On the last night of Mykonos, my dessert actually flew into my face. It had nuts all around the edge and they just flew up in a sheet of nuts, went over my face, in my hair because of the wind. So this is a great beach because it's sheltered. It was 50 euro for two sunbeds. So definitely on the pricey side, but that is just pretty much what Mykonos is like. If you're going on a mega budget holiday, you may struggle with this particular Greek island because there is definitely a luxury vibe here. There are a lot of luxury boats, yachts, plenty of expensive clubs and restaurants. They will require you to have bottle service and there's a lot of designer stores as well. So you will see a lot of people flaunting the cash, spending a lot of money. If you like to go away and have luxury and spend your hard earned cash, then this is a great place to do that. So this is one of the main attractions, Little Venice, and of course the windmills and where there's windmills, that means there's wind. And this is always a very busy spot. There's tons of tourists here, lots of people taking pictures. This is a place called The Veranda where you can get a drink. It was 20 euro for a cocktail and you can get food as well. And you're right on the water. So you actually get splashed, but it's a great view. You can see the windmills, you can see the sea sparkling and you're really in the center of the action. So that's why, of course, it's gonna be pricier. Again, very windy. I actually just took my hair down while we were taking some photos here, but the sunsets here are truly phenomenal. Definitely something that you have to do when you're on the island. There's a big culture in Mykonos and also in Santorini as well of going out to see the sunsets. So a lot of people go out to watch the sunset. They'll applaud when it's over and then it becomes nighttime. And this is where Mykonos really comes alive. 
It's a very different place to be at night compared to in the day. The streets are the same, but it just gets livelier, it gets busier. All of the bars are humming, and whether you're a family or a 20 something, there's a different place for everyone. If you want to have drinks on the seafront, if you want to go somewhere cheaper, somewhere more expensive, you want to go for dinner, you want to go clubbing, it's also very gay friendly on this island. There really is something for everyone. So these are the tiny winding streets of Mykonos. You can really get lost here. This is the main town. There's a lot of souvenir shops, jewelry shops, local linen shops, and you could just go round and round and round. And again, something for every budget, whether you want something cheaper or you want to go to Gucci Louis Vuitton, where they actually seem to vet the people going inside. If you want to go there and spend some money, you can do that as well. This is the other vegetarian restaurant that I mentioned, Mother Earth. And I just want to mention my book, Shout Out to Living in Tune, because this is what allows me to travel the world and have such a great time seeing these places. So this is one of the last meals we had. This is actually the course before the infamous nut incident where they flew into my face. Great view here as well. And this was just a regular taverna. It wasn't anything overly fancy. We saw a great sunset on the last night. We watched it all the way to the end. I have sped it up just because it was a bit slow otherwise, but a really fun island, incredible sunshine, but just get ready for that wind. So this is the end of the video. Have you been to Mykonos? Let me know in the comments. And if you're going, if you want any advice, I'm by no means an expert, but I will always give you my honest opinion. So like this video, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more vlogs.